Welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday. Here's your weekly dose of inspiration to build a creative habit. One drawing at a time. Brought to you by Sketchbook School. I got a request for a draw tip video on how to shade with color pencils. Let's grab a bunch of color pencils, any brand will do, and let's get to know their characteristics a little bit better. Let's start with the basics. When you use color pencils, you want to be gentle on the pencil pressure. The colors blend best when you layer them. When you press your pencil hard, you get a waxy layer of color that will saturate the paper and then you won't be able to add more color layers. If you want more saturation on the color, simply add another layer and another layer. Use light hatching strokes in different directions so you fill all angles of the tooth of the paper. Yellow, red and blue are the primary colors and really they are all you basically need. When adding blue to yellow, you get green. When adding yellow to red, you get orange. And when adding red to blue, you get purple. Orange, purple and green are the secondary colors or complementary colors. You'll find them in any color pencil set along with the three primary colors red, yellow and blue. If I put these in a color wheel, you'll see that the secondary colors are the opposite colors of the primary colors. Knowing this can be beneficial for your color blending and shading. So if you would draw a red apple, you want to start with a light layer of red, but leave a white patch for the shiny highlight on the apple. Now by adding more and more layers, just lightly hatching them on top of each other, you can add more depth to the shape and you are deepening the color. The red becomes brighter with every added layer. The apple I'm drawing here would be lit from the front left, which means the right hand side of the apple is shaded. The further the apple curves from the light source, the darker the shading. Now to deepen the red color, pick up its opposite color, green. At first that seems kind of an unnatural thing to do, but you will see that if you gently add a layer of green to the darker areas, the red color deepens even more now. Alternate red and green to layer. Also add a bit of yellow to the red if you're looking for a bit of a warmer color. Let's not forget the drop shadow. If you add this, your apple will sit on a surface rather than float in a white paper space. For the drop shadow, start with the opposite color of the subject. Then add blue, which is a cool color, perfect for the shadow and alternate red and back to green until you have a dark shade. You can fiddle around with the primary and secondary colors to create a brown color for the stock, like I am doing here without much success, but there's likely a nice brown pencil in your color pencil set, so why not use that? Just some finishing touches, a little extra layer to deepen the color even more. So we're left with as little white shining through from the white background as possible. Except for that highlight, of course. We haven't touched that at all and it makes the apple shiny. You can make better use of all the art supplies that you have. Not just those color pencils that may have been collecting dust. Go to sketchbookschool.com and get inspired. <laughs>